And welcome back, everyone. Hopefully you've gotten your snacks and stretched all of your appropriate appendages. Where we left off was Sweet Justice going out into the frozen wastes. VS is, is going to be off for the rest of the night. He wasn't feeling well when we started, um, but he toughed it out. But um, he had to step out for tonight. So okay, feel so she's going to play for him. Yeah, she's really good feel, at jumping on things. Feel better, VS. We'll see you in the next one. Miss you already, buddy. If the whole party dies, it's not your fault. Yeah, it Just is. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> That'd be, I'd be really die. bad. <laughs> Oh, Fine. <laughs> Let's fall towards. I mean, there's campaigns with just single solo players, right? <laughs> it just becomes the tale of Valkan. Mm -hmm. Avenging sure. his friends. Sure. Okay, so um, right now um, it's late afternoon uh, in Gordek. Uh, when were you all planning on leaving? Are you going now? Were you planning on... Um, Waiting for the following day. Uh, we can uh just take like a like a speed run, just quick rest or whatever. Like we don't have to like yeah, RP it we'll out. Some of the <laughs> local delicacies and yeah, then, uh, yeah. and head out. And then Ron that way, Bryn like, gets her spells back. Yeah, I need my spells back before we go, so we're staying the and, night. Uh, yeah. Ron will like get a basket of fish for the for the road. Sure. Yeah, you find you find a, a modest inn, which is five silver pieces each okay. to stay the night. I'm also gonna top off my healing tonic. Yeah, I almost forgot easy enough. To do. One east over done. Do you take care of it? Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah Ron got it. Ron got it. So okay. the following day, uh, which is Primus, the nineteenth, you are in literally the dead of winter almost exact um exactly there but uh of notes the day before um primus 18th whether ron was to share or not um is actually ron's birthday yeah <laughs> so that evening that you spend the night um it is ron's birthday okay um oh. for ron's birthday Bryn is gonna find like something really nice to gift to him so i'm gonna find like some fishing like tackles mm -hmm. that are like made like some artisan handmade fishing tackles made in this region sure easy enough and vin is going to take out her crayons and paper and draw a picture of ron <laughs> and vin fishing oh <laughs> Where do I have Ron's age description? <laughs> I gotta, I gotta add one. Yep. I've never had a birthday in D and D, <clears throat> or I never had a character age. <laughs> <Like> <laughs> well, Vin's character aged several years already. <laughs> Six years, baby. <laughs> it was like uh, four years. And then I look at Bryn. And then I give a nod, and I'm just like, "Happy birthday!" <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to Thank you! To you! Happy birthday! I'm gonna play that too. And money more. And then I take from behind my back, and I'm like, "Here, Ron, I drew this for you." Ron, these are to help you catch that rare fish. I forgot oh. what I called it. The uh, fish will wow. us. This is uh, so amazing. Ron has never been more happy than this moment now. Thank you. Uh, Valkan wasn't feeling good. He went to lay down, but he said drinks are on him. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. okay. <laughs> well, we have a serious travel to do, so not, uh, uh, so, we cannot so, get so. We'll just have one drink. One drink. Yeah, uh, two drinks. Two drinks, two drinks. Three drinks. There's three of us. Okay, there's three of us. That is good call. All on Belgian. <laughs> yup. <laughs> All right. See. So you, you enjoy your evening with Ron's uh, birth date um, out in the city of Gordek. The following morning, um, you travel 
to the northwest towards the mountains and the, and the frozen wastes of the north here. Uh, on this day, it is cold. It is frigid. You're looking at below zero Fahrenheit. Thanks. Uh, you are the tippy top. Uh, think like this far north, like almost like Arctic Circle type conditions. That's why it's so treacherous. Um, however, as I mentioned, you all have um, winter clothing. So in um, in these conditions, while it is extreme cold, um, you all need to make a constitution saving throw, but you can make it with advantage because all you've right. taken the necessary precautions. Plus three, friends. <clears throat> Plus three? If you're, if you're next to me, which I'm assuming we're not, we're traveling close together. 30, because I got a nat 20. A 30? <laughs> I rolled a nat 20 plus oh 7, yeah. and then plus 3. <clears throat> yep. Vin's uh, fine. 20. I'm 20. skipping. I, I'm like having a snowball fight. Mm-hmm. All right. So today, while it is cold, you you are shrugging it off, ready for adventure. Uh, who would like to roll a d10 for me? Ron does. It's his birthday. Ron rolls. <laughs> is it weird that my real birthday is tomorrow and Ron's birthday was yesterday? That's pretty weird. Yeah, weird. that's weird. How that out. So like, how did that work out? Nine. Did you plan this? Nine. We find a holy Avenger. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as you are trekking in and it's snowing it's not like a, a heavy snowfall it's light snow at this point some minor precipitation precipitation I almost said some minor participation um, you find in the snow here just kind of out in um, where it's sparsely sparse trees light forests before you reach the mountains appears to be just um, a couple bodies. Whoa! And this is after almost a full day's travel, so you're you're Hold a on. ways away from Gordak. Let me look. I am a medical <laughs> professional. Stand back, please. I would like to investigate them using either investigation, or well, ideally first investigation. Sure. To make sure it's not like a trap, because we were warned of like bandits and stuff. <clears throat> and then after the investigation, I'd like to do a medicine. Sure. Do your investigation first. Fifteen. So as you're looking and you sort of turn them over, they're sort of leaning against a tree, almost huddled together around like a, uh, a, a makeshift modest campsite that wasn't enough to uh, defeat the elements here. And uh, you recognize these people you've met what? them once before no. um you recognize one of them as the halfling cartographer that was in the northern regions named jillian uh and she had a white dragonborn guard or dragonborn oh, guard named no. Kurek. oh yeah they were nice <laughs> oh man they were very That's naive sad. about what they were doing in these regions and seemed ill prepared and it seems to have gotten the best of them make a medicine check uh, a medicine check? Mm-hmm. Okay. 18th. They weren't attacked. They died of exposure. Okay. Can I do something a little weird? Sure. I would like to cast a spell using this item that I am attuned to called the Stone Speaker's Crystal. And I would like to use a charge to speak with the dead. Hmm. Sure. And I'll do it twice once for each of them. Sure thing. Uh, first one, I just want to ask her, uh, uh, first of all, I'm so sorry that you seem to have uh, passed on. Do you have any unfinished business that I could take care of for you? 
and as you sort of prop her up in sort of the the, the body is just frozen almost the jaw just cracks open and you just hear ah, I wasn't finished mapping this area okay uh, and the next question is there any loved ones I can bring word to on your behalf no. oh they just said oh, uh, that I loved were with me oh that is even more sad uh and then third question I get three All right can we have yeah. our stuff oh my god um Oh, sure. Uh, do you mind if we take your stuff? We do not need it any longer. Okay, cool. Same questions for the the guard. So the do you get guard. three, is that right? It's either or three four. or four, but I, to be honest, I don't have a fourth question unless somebody wants me to ask. Oh, did they run into anything we should be aware of? Look it up. Let me look up the spell. Like, see uh, signs of school or I don't know. Kids. Anything. I don't know. <laughs> this up Sign to five, of what? so I'll ask. Yeah, what'd you say? Signs of what? Like, uh, like school or people or like just like anyone around, like life, other, other, other. I'll just, people, uh, more generically, I'll just ask, uh, is there anything up here that you would warn others about? Kins. Giant kin. And then I'm going to ask the dragonborn the same questions. Yep. So as, as time goes by and you don't ask a, a fifth question, you just, uh, and the head falls back. Oh, I'll ask a fifth question. Uh, what is your favorite food? It is, uh, you know, I'm going to have a warm chicken soup on her behalf when I get back. Okay, uh, same questions for the dark. Mm-hmm. Over the questions in order, please, that you want to ask them. Uh, do you have any unfinished business that I could help you with? I'm not promising to do it, I'm just asking. To serve. Well, it's, it's said. Uh, is there any loved ones that you would like me to take word to? And his jaw is sort of like cracked open, like sideways. Um, uh, creepy. And he's, he's more frozen, or less so frozen, but sort of still died out here. And um, he says, My son. It's not going to give me any of on how to. Okay, well, then I'll use he, the next hold question. On. I to... said yes. Oh. Oh, I thought you said no. I was like, wow. <laughs> Help me out, man. You, you don't have to look it up right now. You can tell me later. My son. Tarhoon. And then, uh, same question. Is there anything up here that you would warn others about? Watch the skies. And then favorite food or or drink. Steak rare. <laughs> Noted. First time I've ever seen someone use speak with dead to figure out what their favorite food was. <laughs> I can't do much for them, but I can I have a drink and a meal in their honor. So yeah. that's the you next know. theme. Meals from beyond. Oh. <laughs> um, Amazing. I'm going to uh, make note of the sun. I'm not going to try to like, I can't map the area. I'm not a cartographer, but I do want to search her belongings to see if her maps or like her progress is there. And I will mm -hmm. take that to 
uh, I will take that to the library in Icegarth, actually. And we'll yeah, also so you, use it for the time. And we'll also yeah. use it, yes. Yeah, you um, you rolled a 15, I believe, on your investigation, and you can look through her pack. So, yeah. um, and it appears that um, based on what you've seen here, they weren't on their way out. They were on their way back. Oh, no. Well, they were so, <laughs> so they, close. They were so close. And you see that there are a number of places that they had gotten to, probably deeper than you would expect for them to go. Um, it probably helped that the White Dragonborn um, could endure some of the cold, but not so much for the halfling cartographer. And there are a number of different, they've found just passes through the mountains, um, caves further in, uh, potentially could be used as places to stay or as um, places for other creatures to be staying. Um, but it would get you out of the elements. Once you get into the mountains, you're not quite there yet. You're about another day or two from there to the to the actual base of the mountains. But there are places where you see points of interest in different caves and such for places to at least rest. Very cool. Anything else you all would like to do? Uh, we take all their stuff and supplies. We asked if we could, so. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely, I am just taking their stuff even if they said no. <laughs> I mean, they had cold weather clothing. They they had some snowshoes, which you already have. Um, they have, uh, I'll say, uh, another two days each of rations, so four total. We'll uh, take but the snowshoes too. Can we just put it all in the bag of holding? Yeah. They're, they're frozen rations at this point, so you don't know how long they've even been out here, but... That's okay. We're, we'll take all of it, just okay. in case. You never know. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to put her maps uh, on my character sheet. Like, do you want me to just put... Yeah. What was her name again? Jillian. Jillian's maps. I'm just going to put that so I can remember when we get back to Icegard. The G or a J? A J. So with um, the rest of the day uneventful, uh, it's it's hard travel. I mean, with the snowshoes, you, it's still difficult terrain in the snow. You're just not falling into it uh, and potentially getting stuck and causing any more issues. But it's it's still slow going. So you spend a day traveling through, and the and the mountain range grows ever closer. Um, are you going to use Tiny Hut for the night? Sure am. Perfect. Uh, no survival roll required. Um, with Liam and Tiny Hut, you can fit um, well enough for your crew. Uh, and much to everyone's um, delight, the Tiny Hut is comfortable on the inside. You can set out your cold clothing, have it um, be warmed, potentially build a fire in there if you wanted to, if you don't really need to since it's already appropriate temperature. But I ritual cast it too, by the way. What does it look like, though? This is the first time you've ever Can I choose what hooked. it looks like? I forgot. Absolutely. Why not? Um, I know it's supposed to be kind of like an orb, and it can totally physically be one, but I'd like it if it looked like a little tiny hut. Just like a, like a cute, quaint, tiny little hut with like a thatched roof. And, and two chicken legs. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. And it doesn't, like, on the inside, it's just comfortable because this is just flavor because it can't technically do anything. But I just want to say that it smells a little bit like dried herbs and dried flowers and, like, something baking in the oven. Ooh. Yeah. Like a like a nice bread smell. And this is like a ten foot sphere, so it it's yeah. like a dome here, and it looks it's opaque. It looks like a weird little hut with chicken legs. Um, but once you set foot inside it, it's transparent. You can see yeah. outside 
Um, it can be dimly lit or dark, depending on uh, Bryn's wishes of whether you guys want light or not. Does the light travel through it? No, it looks opaque from the outside. Okay. Looks like a weird hut. <laughs> yeah, yeah, weird Ron hut. Will also create food and water. Ooh. Hey, hey, look at us. Who'd have thought? <laughs> Not me. Not me. <laughs> it tastes bland, but it's very nutritious. All right, so that is one day into the wilderness. Um, you're about a day out from the mountains, uh, from the looks of it. Uh, someone else will me another D10 or the same person if you'd like for the next morning. I vote same person. All right, you got it. Uh, six. Six. So you're traveling. It's about um, midday. It's still cold. It's um, light snow, much lighter than the day before. Um, you all can make your constitu or constitution check with uh, advantage. All right. Now we get plus three. Nat 20. Very nice. 28. Was seven. I am rolling. A mathing. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. You all are fine, and you are trudging through the cold. Uh, it's not pleasant, but it's not uh, detrimental to you all. And as you sort of make your way through the wilderness here. Uh, about midday, you come across um, some rock formations, sort of not quite the mountains yet, but you can see some rocks jutting out of the ground, sort of as you're coming up to um, the slope towards the mountain. And you um, look and you see on top of one of the rocks, it's standing on its hind legs and, it, and this creature is looking out to you. Um, it's small sized um, and it um, has sort of this white goldenish fur um and it has little small ears um a little thin snout and you can see it standing on its hind legs and you see um three more sets of legs as it sort of stands uh oh, it almost oh. looks like like a, a badger or something like that but about the size of um like a dog Nature, no, six. It's like I a also fucked up nature. badger. Yeah, that's one. Well, I rolled a natural badger. one. That, that is a honey badger. I have heard a tale <laughs> of strange beast. Oh, they, they are friendly. No. No. They will eat your eyes out in and then poop on your head. Uh, do they give? Um, what, I've run heard this before. Any fucks? They do not give any fucks. Okay. And it's on top of the rock, and you see further in the other um, direction, uh, another one comes out of the snow as it had burrowed underneath, and it shakes its little head off and looks up at you and sort of like peers up, kind of like prairie dogs do, looking to see what you are. And oh, then, this is what Orc Lady warned us about. Oh, yeah. Behind what you, is? another oh, one. Behind us. Probably about oh, shit, you just 10, wait. 10 feet. Looks the up honey to you badgers, they looks, got us. Looks curious. Uh, We're fucked. We should, we should probably leave their uh, yeah. den. Can I take the frozen rations that we grabbed and kind of like toss them like, uh, here, have some frozen rations, honey badgers. You can try. I'll toss like some stale honey cake too. Yep. So you reach into your pack um, and you sort of throw this food out and, and then they sort of burrow back down underneath the snow and then a moment later you see them come up from their burrow and look and one of them grabs them with um 
two sets of hands, so four total, on this, and starts starts eating it. Oh, they look. And cute. then you hear this like, like chittering to the, to the others, uh, and then you see uh, another pop out of a burrow, and then another, and then another. Um, these are bigger. They're about people sized. Um, oh, and they start clicking, uh, and you see. Uh, one of them sort of tentatively comes closer to you all uh, and sees and sort of and then and opens up its mouth with rows of sharp teeth. I'd like you all to roll initiative. Uh, <laughs> you never feed the wild animals, Bryn. I did not know. They were cute. What is my deck? Zero, so 11. All righty. Wow, wait, one of them rolled 20. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, Ron, what's your... Oh, boy. Uh, 11. 11, Bryn. 9. 9, Vin. 19. Oh, good. 19. One of us has a good one. Alrighty. Uh, up first, these are called Arumvaraxes. Uh, I'm not going to attempt to repeat That's okay. You don't have to. Can you make sure we're on the map if there is one? I will do this. There you go. Ooh. Whoa, look at them. <clears throat> All right. So this it's first one, like one of the... Kind of like cat dog vibes. I was thinking <laughs> octopus. I see it now, though. And this one here on top um, sort of hops down. To here, burrows under the snow. Oh boy. And then you see it Pop up directly in front of you, Bryn. It's gonna try and attack you. Um, it tries to bite you, but misses. And then tries okay. to claw you twice. The first one is a 21 to hit. The second one is not hit. I'm gonna use uh, a thing. One second. What thing would you like to use? I'm gonna use a reaction. It is called... I'm going to use Arcane Deflection to add two to my AC. Okay, how long does it last? It's just a, a reaction I can do. So just for once. Okay, so it goes yeah, to just slash you and then it hits your Arcane Shield there, uh, not getting purchase. Vin, these are some feisty little fuckers. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I'm feisty too. <laughs> um... I am going to um, hex um, this one. Okay. Um, and I believe that is a bonus action. It so is. So I get a regular old spell skis. Mm -hmm. You can cast which a cantrip. Is going to be firebolt. Uh, what attribute are you going to hex for them? Let's do... Hold on, I haven't hexed in a minute. Let me read that. Mm -hmm. It'll uh, affect their ability checks. So. Their ability checks. Mm -hmm. um, Not let's... saving throws. Can, I, can uh, I say one thing real quick? Yeah. You know how Bryn does her... You've seen her do her shove a lot? That would be a strength. Like... Oh, it's ability oh. checks, not saves. Yeah, yeah. Which oh, resisting and grapple are being shoved is an ability. An ability? Check. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were right. Yeah, I was right. Energy. So if you wanted me to be able to shove them or knock them prone, it would be strength based. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll you do don't that. have to do that. I just, I just, you've seen Bryn do that a lot. So. Okay. Yeah, I'll do strength, but it's specifically this one. Yep. They're marked. Yeah. Um. Okay. You cast a firebolt. I will cast Firebolt. 
which gonna be a 21 that hits and we are rolling one spaceship where's my other spaceship <laughs> it's like a million dice i have so many dice i have a whole <laughs> thing like, around there <laughs> I have a whole thing of them, but they like to hide. Okay. Oh God, I hate math. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Why? It's not even hard. It's not easy numbers or hard numbers. Okay. That's why I have my calculator app Let's open see. at all times when I play D and D. Plus <laughs> seven equals same. All right, twenty-one. Twenty-one damage. Is there? Oh As wait, plus, 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 plus because plus one D six. Five. All right. As you hurl this sort of bolt of fire at this creature, it, just, it raises up to see what's going on and you hit it square and like in like this, the abdomen and, it, and sort of snarls at you as it's singeing its fur. All right. Anything else? Uh, no. Alrighty, Ron. Alright, Ron's gonna rush the big and swing Go away. Uh, does 18 hit? And 18. Accidentally closed my tab. One moment. <laughs> uh, yes, 18 does hit. Alright, Ron's gonna swing for 15 damage. Okay. You give it a and, bop. And then the second hit. Uh, it's going to be a 24. That definitely hits. All right, Ron's going to smite away. All right. Uh, what is that? 12, 19, 25, 30 damage. 30 damage. You take your mace and just... You whack them all, this little badger, and just... When just shove it into the snow, yeah. essentially, and it is dead. So, um, when the target drops to zero hit points before the spell ends, you can use a bonus action on a subsequent turn of yours to curse yep. a new creature. On your turn, just wanted to mm -hmm. let you know. Bryn, I'm gonna. Well, I, I oh, got, I'm gonna sorry. use the rest of my movement to uh, Ron. Again, protect the <laughs> bin. Okay, um, Bryn. Okay, I would like to uh, attack the one. Above me with my. That's the one you gave your crackers to. Javelin. Uh, just making sure I can't with Arcane Deflection, I can't cast spells, but I can do regular attacks. Okay. Yeah, I'll attack that with my Javelin. And I will get a. Ooh, uh, 24. That hits. It will take four damage and a wound. Very well. Four damage. And then I'm going to... Yeah, I'm in a big Bryn energy. Alrighty. You grow to twice your size. I'm going to do my second attack. Or no, I'm going to um, attempt to shove it. Okay. Uh, Probably not. It uses its acrobatics. That is a uh, 15. Oh, they can use acrobatics to avoid the shove, not yeah. strength. Oh, I told I you wrong. I think so. Let me Back. double check. Sorry. Just to make oh, sure. Because I was thinking acrobatics originally was what I wanted to do. Unless they get a choice. They, they might get a choice. I'm thinking so, but let me double check here. Because it's, it's grappling, it be strength, you can do but... athletics or acrobatics, but. Um... Yeah, I'm just trying to knock them prone specifically. So it's a shove. Yeah, they can use athletics or acrobatics. Oh, I'm sorry. I told you wrong. So they can use either. So they got a 15. Um, that's okay, because it's not on anybody. So if you move it, you can right, mm -hmm. choose again. Um, sorry. Uh, mine is athletics, though, so that's four. It's not gonna hit. And nope. then I will do second attack. 
23. It hits. And then I'm going to do four more damage, but I'm also going to use my big Brent once per turn damage, which is an extra four. Alrighty. And You're beating up the little one. I'm going to move, if possible, to right here. Easy enough. Oh, that's my turn. Alrighty. Next is going to be this one. They're going to run here. Uh, and they're going to attack you, Bryn, for slapping the little one. <clears throat> okay. That's fair. They're going to try and bite you first. And it is an if 18, gonna, which I okay. believe misses you. Yeah, it does. Um, so big. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> they will try and claw you now. Just tell me if it hits, not what it is. Okay. Um, both claw attacks miss you. <laughs> Up next. Yeah, that's what is I thought, this little rodents. You are not tiny badgers. On the end of this one's turn, it is going to burrow underneath the snow. The rest of its movement. This one. To here. It is going to try and bite you. Um, with an 18, not enough. Uh, and then it will try and swipe at you. The AC uh, is 20, by the way. Miss. Mm hmm. And this will hit you. Okay, I'm going to use the reaction again. <laughs> okay. So it hits your arcane uh, ward. Deflection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Well, I don't know that it'll... I, I don't know if... It's a plus two bonus to my AC, so I'm at 22. No. It could still hit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then that one didn't have enough to go under. This one moves and they're just kind of swarming around you as you're the largest target. Yeah. This one tries to bite you and gets a natural 20. <laughs> okay. Uh, nope. Good night. Alrighty. So normal Ooh. hits. Um, and it is. Six piercing damage. Okay. It's going to claw you. Uh, this one will hit you. I, but I think you're against your reaction so. anyway. Yeah. Uh, it is going to take. Or you will take three slashing damage. It tickles. Mm hmm. And uh, the rest of his movement, it will burrow underneath the snow. Uh, this one is going to go after you, Ron. All right. It bites you, uh, natural 20. <laughs> uh, denied. You notice that when they are working in unison, they seem to coordinate uh. their strikes. <sighs> mm. uh, so this one, with your crit negated, you're going to take um, four piercing damage. It's going to claw you now. Okay. Um, but the claw does nothing to you. And it's going to burrow underneath the snow with this movement. <clears throat> this is very annoying. Up Good next, uh, this one, roll your damage for the wound. Can't get the dice. Uh, uh, one whole wound. Please. Alrighty. And it gets to save at the end. I think I get to, it might get to save before. All right. It's constitution. No, it's at the end. It's at the end. It's okay. at the end. Um, it's going to move in this direction and try and bite it. Vin. Um, I'm going to hex the big one on your turn. You can do that. Oh, I thought it was my turn. No, nope, it's this one's turn. Oh, I thought you said Vin. It's going to bite you. Is what oh. I said. <laughs> Sorry. I thought you uh, said it's Vin? your turn to no. take damage. Um, the inflection you use, I thought you meant yeah. it was my turn. No, I was like, it's going to bite Vin. 
Um, and you, it does succeed, and you are going to take 10 piercing damage. Rude. Oh, wait, wait. I took damage, so I am going to... Where is it? Hold on. <laughs> it's a reaction. I always forget where it is. Basically, the thing that pushes them away. When it bites you, it seems to regain some of its constitution back. <laughs> mm. And how much um, did it hit me for? Ten piercing. Uh, are you looking for the um, gift of the gym dragon? Yes. Oh, yeah. It's, it's under actions. I always think it's under spells. So but it's you not. use your reaction. And it makes a strength saving throw and it fails. So but roll 2d8. And you push it 10 feet away from you. Four. And it takes four damage. Is, you, is it sort of takes a bite out of you and then gains some of its health back? You just sort of force it away and you see it just sort of like topple into the snow 10 feet away. Uh, and it's going to burrow. It's not like and that. Also. Mm -hmm. Hold on. It succeeds and no longer has a wound, Bryn. Where is that other thing? Because I what do you say, um, where it is takes a everything? D4 fire damage as well. Yeah, that's what I, you, you knew what I was looking for. Uh -huh. <laughs> you thinking knew it because you're okay. wreathing, wreathing. Yeah, I was like, I knew I did a fire spell. Something else happens, too. OK, it takes one, whatever. One damage. Hey, every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. Um, Vin, it is your turn and you only see one of them. Okay, I'm going to hex that one that I see. All right. Which ability are you going to hex? Their agility or whatever that is. Dexterity. I don't know. Athletics, whatever that is. Yeah. Yep. So strength. Dexterity. Oh, athletics or, or acrobatics. So it's either strength or dex. Acrobatics, dex. So dex. Okay. Um, and then I am going to, um, go up to them. Hold on. Five. Da, 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 da. Hold on. Where's my body? Okay. And I'm going to do shocking grasp at them. Okay. Um, okay. So that would be 3d8. Yeah, so you need to make a roll d20 and add 10. Oh, yeah. That first. That's a thing. Mm hmm. 15? Uh, 15 does not hit this one. Oh, wow. Really? But the bigger ones are a little hardier than the little ones. Um, <clears throat> does my. Where is there magical guidance? Can I re-roll the d20? Oh, this is an ability check. This is an ability no, it's check? an attack. Same. Uh, this is one of those where you would have had to done Tides of Chaos beforehand to get Beforehand. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, all right. All right. Anything else you'd like to do? Uh, I already hexed. I don't think I can do anything else. Ready. Ron. Ron. You only see one. Well, actually, no, I can. You can move. Yeah, well, because um, the spell automatically casts on somebody else, so it's not like I recasted the spell. You still use so, your bonus action, though, to re to send it. Elsewhere. Oh, to redo it. Okay, mm -hmm. never mind. I was going to misty step mm -hmm. the fuck out, but I can't do that. <laughs> you still have some <laughs> movement, though. Well, then they get an attack of opportunity. Mm -hmm. I'd rather take the hit than gotcha. move like a run. <laughs> <laughs> Ron's gonna run on over. Go to Hammertown. Gonna run on over. Oh, yeah. Okay, 20 to hit. That hits. Uh, That is. Oh. 12 damage. 12 damies. Then second swing is a crit. Damn. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, uh, nine. 
18. 20, 24 damage. 24 damage. It's hanging in there. It's not looking too good. Okay. And then uh, that is all. all right. I have a question for you, though. When they burrow, is that technically a disengage? When they burrow? Um, sort of. Is when they that, go underneath the ground because you can't see them anymore. Okay. Would that trigger Sentinel since they're Ooh. leaving my range? Let's see. Uh, for now, I will say yes. All right. Cool beans. Because you, you're unsure of how far they're going underneath. That makes sense. But... Oh. If they go, then you you will get to your attack of opportunity for that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, another comment. I think you're the only paladin in history that's gotten a crit and hasn't smited with it. <laughs> I, I figured it was enough to, <laughs> to finish him off, but it didn't. <laughs> yeah, those big ones are a little tougher. Um, Bryn. Sorry, puppy shenanigan. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, I'm gonna stab the one that's right there with gotcha. my javelin, and that's gonna be a 25 to hit. That hits. It's gonna take five damage. All right. No, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, five damage and uh -huh. a wound. And then I'm gonna attempt to shove this one prone as well. Alrighty. It's going to use its strength. Knotted acrobatics. It's a twenty. Ah, I got eighteen. Okay. You get the sense of looking at these. The bigger ones are stronger. The smaller ones are a little more wiry, more dexterous. Gotcha. I'll attack it again. Okay. Fifteen. Fifteen misses. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to use my fighter second wind. What's it called? Action surge. Action surge. That's the one. Uh huh. Shh, it's fine. <laughs> and attack it again. Go for it. Uh, 15 will miss. Mm hmm. This should hit. That's a 21. That hits. And I'm going to add my big brain damage to it. So it's going to be. Six, seven, eight, plus six. Fourteen? Yeah. And a wound. No. Doesn't matter. You stab this one through the heart and pull your spear out as it falls hey, under the snow. You got the dinner. And that's my turn. Alrighty. Up next. This one. Poof. Pops out of the snow um, at you and is going to try and uh, bite you. This will hit you. This is to Bryn. Sorry. Um, this will hit you. Yeah, I'll use my deflection uh, to add two to my AC. Does that fix it? Still hit you. Dang. Okay. And this one goes to a bite. You take 18 piercing damage. These uh, big ones bite a little harder and it regains some hit points or actually hasn't lost any. So. And it's going to claw at you now, Bryn. That will miss. The next one uh, will hit you even is your ward last the whole turn no it's just a claw? reaction thing so now i okay. can't so it does claw you you take okay. um 11 slashing damage ow ow Bryn's not looking good and make a uh oh it is you're grappled now okay and you can uh try to escape on your turn uh one Second.
Hit points, losses, weapons, damage can be regained through. What are you referring to here? What are you trying to find? The the thing healed itself. It didn't take any damage. I rolled and realized that it was this was almost still full. So. Okay. okay this one has not been wounded. I thought, it was, by I thought you. I was wounded. I was like really confused. So, the other okay. two were. Never mind. There were six of them. Remember. <laughs> That's there's so many of them. Yeah. <laughs> so you are grappled, and it is and going to attempt same. to burrow underground with you. Oh no! And drag you down into the snow. Uh, no. Oh no! Um, I don't so like it. I don't like it. I don't want to live underground. You see it burrow and oh, drag at you and pull you, um, and you are about... You're about just under snow level since you're like 10 feet tall. Holy now. crap, that's terrifying though. Mm-hmm. Does the snow, is the snow like <laughs> suffocating me? Not currently. Okay, I'm gonna not struggle, just FYI. If it comes up and you're under snow, don't struggle. <laughs> um, It'll pack in on you. Up next. I think that's quicksand. No, no, no. It's definitely snow. <laughs> um, up next. Um, none of you see this happen. Bryn, you are um, getting assailed by the others that are burrowed underground. We, we didn't see it happen. I hate those. They're burrowed oh, into the snow. Okay. You hear it. Oh, no. No, 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 um, no, no. This one is going to hit you. And you will take not like this. Uh, nine more piercing damage. Ooh. Okay. Um, but the claw attack will miss you. <clears throat> Next, one of them pops out of the snow behind you, Ron, uh, right. and misses you with their bite attack, and then. Um, Misses you with her claw attack. You're too tanky for him. Yeah, run beefy. Um, this one pops out of the snow at you. Um, this one learned his lesson trying to hit Vin. <laughs> As it got uh, knocked the fuck back. Misses you with its bite. Uh, and misses you with its claws. Not able to find purchase. Is it scratching and biting at your armor? Um, Vin, Bryn's gone. <laughs> I will use Quicken spell to um cast two spells. Perfect. Um, essentially, I'm gonna cast Fly on myself. Okay. Uh, which means I can no longer hex things because they're both concentration, right? Yep, the one you hex is dead anyway. So right, which would it would have went yep. to another one, but mm -hmm. I'm, if you could, if you wanted to, yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna, I'm not gonna not do that. I'd rather fly and not get mm -hmm. dragged to my death. But yeah, so, <laughs> <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna like fly like I don't know, thirty feet in the air, I guess, and then um, I'm gonna hit. Who the else one. is gonna? Get, are you casting fly on Ron as well since you twinned oh, it? Oh yeah, actually I can do that. Let's do that. Yeah, I was wondering. You said twin, but I wasn't sure what you were doing with it. <laughs> uh, I well, I meant quickened, but yeah, let's do oh, twin. Oh, quickened. Okay, so oh, but, yeah, no, gotcha. no, let's do twinned. That way, Ron doesn't get dragged to his death either. Perfect. Ron, so you now can we're fly. both not dragged to our deaths, but that means I can't cast another spell then, right? Right. So it's up to you. I thought you, but you, we can interpret it whichever way you you meant to. No, no, to. no. That's fine. I'd rather not have Ron get dragged down either since two of them are on him so <laughs> okay uh ron can fly <laughs> oh um and i well it's a willing creature so you don't have to fly if you don't want to but oh ron's willing okay yeah <laughs> so um i give like like a nod to you and i just kind of like touch your cheeks you know like a grandma would touch cheeks like i just <laughs> Like touch your cheeks. Like you're pinching my cheeks? No, no, no. I'm just like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> like touch your cheeks, and then I start flying. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, Ron. Ron is gonna float up five feet. All right. And he's gonna swing at um at this little guy. Go for it. Oh. Uh, sixteen hit. Uh, 16 does. Excellent. 
I'm gonna do uh, 16 damage to that one. Alrighty. That's not how Owen's not having a good day. All right, now I'm gonna swing again, and that's uh, 25. And that's gonna be uh, 14 damage. This one gets bonked as well. Wait. And then Ron's gonna move. But Bryn was here, right? Mm hmm. Ron's also gonna float over this way. Gotcha. Uh, Bryn, say something. Ron will dig you out. And that's it. All right. Uh, Bryn, you are underneath the snow. Um, mm -hmm. below the surface, you know there's a creature here and a creature here as they're biting and clawing at you. Uh, I sort of fucked myself because I can't cast spells since I used my reaction to do that thing. Mm -hmm. So that's you exciting. Um, your, you can attack, you can use your action to try and get out of the grapple if you'd like. I'm going to use my bonus action to invoke my frost rune and that means I'm going to gain a plus two bonus to all ability checks strength and con and i'm gonna try to uh get out of the grapple okay ideally using strength if that's okay yeah yeah, yeah. make an uh, athletics check and it will do the same okay got a 14 19 all right you were no longer grappled you free yourself from this creature um and you could use uh 10 feet of your movement to get back to the surface yeah, I'll do that. And I just, as long as I can get one hand out so that Ron can see me. Yeah, you can dig yourself out. No big deal. Okay. Um, so you're back on the surface. Ron, I'm going to say just punch you this way because she's 10 feet tall. <laughs> oh, okay. Or it could punch you up if you want to go that direction either way. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll do what you did. Okay, so she comes I, up I and just stands in the space and you just, love it if you're on my <laughs> and you just <laughs> get pushed over. <clears throat> Ron backflips in the air right and i give a nod like heck yeah <laughs> <laughs> anything else you'd like to do uh that's no that's my turn okay that's all i got um, uh yeah that's all i could do next this one will pop up uh and hit you with the bite attack uh this one will hit i'm gonna let this one hit me okay Uh, you take 15 piercing damage. And it will try and claw at you again to pull you under, but it misses. Up next, the next one pops up behind you. And it will hit you with his bite. You will take nine piercing damage. And it will claw you, and it will miss. Yeah, guys like Valkans, attack after attack. Um, These things hurt. It's like one of them's fine, but you notice that in your in your large size, the smaller one do doesn't even attempt to grapple you. It can't. It can't get enough to grab onto. Um, this next one is um. You're five feet in the air, so it's going to try and swipe at you as you're sort of backflipping by it. Okay. I'm going to give it disadvantage. Okay. So I will re-roll. shield. So it's now to... a straight roll. Um, it hits you, rolls 22. Is that your AC? Uh, Yeah, 21. You got me. Gotcha. You take Tried. five piercing. Well, it had advantage. So. I know. At least it wasn't that 20, yeah. <laughs> You take five piercing and it's gonna try and claw you. Okay. Um this one is as well 24. Oh yeah. So you take uh seven slashing damage. Uh and it, you are grappled. Uh oh. And uh -oh. it begins to burrow and um you I will say for this, you are about halfway like waist deep in the snow as it's like pulled you and dragged you down you're still flying though so this could go poorly for it <laughs> uh vin 
I'm going to do Chaos Bolt on the big one. Okay. And I'd like to use Tides of Chaos to get advantage. Perfect. Yeah. Actually, no, it. I'm going to use one of my inspiration because Tides of Chaos could go wrong and I'm flying. It could also <laughs> okay. be funny. Or I could hurt myself. True. It'll <laughs> be fine. Or all of us. That's true. I or you could have some awesome stuff true. happen. Look, yeah. if you fireball it right now, I still think that'll be in our advantage. <laughs> <laughs> um, That would be a 22. That definitely hits. All right. Get him. Fuck him up. I hate these things. Oh, I got so close to the chaos vault going off again. <laughs> So stinking close. All right, so it's going to be acid damage. It's going to be five, six, seven, eight acid damage. Huh? Eight acid damage. Mm-hmm. As you hurl the bolt and it just like gets burned by this little acid ball that you've thrown in it. And then could I do my... Uh, I'm going to use the correct word that I meant to say, the quickened spell. Yep. So that was your bonus action. So with your action, you could cast a cantrip. Yes. So I would like to do um, Firebolt. Go for it. My favorite one. Dee, 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 dee. Seventeen. I that hits. That. And that is a ship guy. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more damage. It's looking pretty hurt. As it looks at you out of reach. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Ron. It's your turn. Uh, You're halfway into the snow. This is underneath you. It's time flying can i just fly up with it grappling me or no yeah, you gain a flying speed of 60 feet i will fly Ooh, and then spartan kick it <laughs> <laughs> oh i think we lost him <laughs> oh no, oh, no. Oh. He, he takes off into the air Whee! He takes off into the air. He's flying so high. He doesn't have cell reception. Oh. It's just until he gets back, sing happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> oh, no. There he is. Oh, there you go. There he is. Uh-oh. Oh, no. He came back and now he's gone. Oh, he's frozen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. Unrelated, but kind of related. Actually, no, it's going to deter us. I was going to tell a story, but if we're going to move on. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's back. Hello. Hello. Oh, man. Every time I talk, he, fro he freezes. I can't talk anymore. <laughs> you can't talk. Oh You're done talking. <clears throat> um, oh, no. I see him. Hello. Are we good? Don't say anything. I'm going to talk through my teeth. So what I will do to kind of move us on, I think I was picking up what Ram was putting down here. Um, well, we can get through this so we can troubleshoot. He can fly 60 feet in the air. So Ron will fly 60 feet in the air, which in turn makes this creature 55 feet in the air. Yeah. And he will attempt to escape its grapple. So I'm pretty sure that's what he was going to do. And we can move through yeah. this while he's dealing with that. Um, so we'll roll Ron's athletics. Uh, he easily escapes the grapple. And this creature, um, is going to take, um, 5d6 falling damage. Nice. And it will take... Eighteen falling damage. Ooh. Can I pick one up and drop it? Uh, you can try and grapple it, yeah. Oh. And that would take the turn of a spell. Yeah, you have to use your action to do so. Oh. Um, but this one, it he kicks it off of him after he flies upward. Uh, and I okay, I think you're back. Uh, back. I did what I thought I you were going to do. 
Yes. Um, so we can move on. You you went 60 feet in the air and you escaped his grapple and it fell 55 feet and took uh, 18 falling damage. Okay, beautiful. You read my mind. Thank you. I, I, I was picking up what you were putting down. <laughs> um, it is now prone. And Bryn, it's your turn. <laughs> Fantastic. It's prone. I attack it. Go for it. You have advantage. 17. That hits. It will take seven damage. Already. And another one damage and a wound. It is wounded. It's looking pretty hurt. I stab it again. Okay. Also with advantage. That's going to be 25. That hits. It's going to take six damage. You stab through it into the snow. And after that fall from great height, it's sitting there prone and you just finish it off. I like to think it falls and Bryn's like turned fighting the others, but I don't miss a beat because that's my buddy Ron. So I just turn around and like shank just it real good two times and go back to fighting. Give it a little stab stab and then you turn yeah. back around. That's my turn. Uh, oh, oh, no, it's not my turn. I'm going to use second wind to get some healing. Go for it. Up next is this larger one and it is going to burrow underneath the snow. And nothing happens. Up next, this one's going to try and do the same. It burrows underneath the snow. The song is a hit. <laughs> What's that? The song's a hit. <laughs> um, so here you wait through an equivalent of another round of combat, and they don't come back. They've burrowed and I think accepted that this is not going to be a meal for them. And they have led back to some din or what have you. So these, the ones assailing you are gone. Those were not honey badgers. I hate those more than honey badgers. How did you feed them? I thought that maybe they'd leave us alone. Didn't your Babas ever tell you not to feed wild animals? No, I feed wild animals all the time. And Babas tell me, go feed all the wild animals. Mm -mm, then they'll become dependent on you and they won't bother. They'll keep bothering you for food. Yeah, and then they get nice and fat and I kill them and eat them because they're stupid. Well, uh, we can take their fur and use it for trade. Oh, that's a good idea. Does anyone know how to do skinning? What's a skinning check? Survival. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, you could do it. I would like to do that, please. But first, I would like to drink some healing tonic. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right. Uh, so go ahead and make your survival roll to see if you can salvage uh, any potential meat. Some very gamey yeah, Still not looking very really good, meat. FYI. Very bloodied. But I will do my survival roll. And I will get a 14. A 14? Yeah, you can salvage. So you, you've about um, a day's worth of food for each of your companions. And... Um, three of their pelts. Okay, so we'll use that to eat today. Mm -hmm. And then I'll add their pelts to my inventory. It's, it's very, very gamey. When you end up cooking this, it's not good. <laughs> but it's edible. But it's edible. Ron will heal Bryn for 25 hit points. 25? Hey, are you that low? Yeah. yeah. It more? got pretty dicey when, it, when she got pulled under. Uh, I mean, I'm not at max. I'm okay. Okay, 15 more. Okay, thanks. That's much better. Still not at max, but much, much better. Pretty Jeez. close. I have a lot of HP to be fair, but like, yeah, that those things messed me up. I was really scared what happens if I hit zero while under the snow. You roll for death. <laughs> yeah. Would not have been good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
All right. Oh, I thought uh, I, I prepared that healing spell, but I did not. So, all right. Uh, so I'm not healed. No, 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 no. I usually on hands, but I, I was. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. I thought I prepared a, a healing spell that was like an out of combat heal, but okay. So you sort of um, take a moment to patch yourselves up and then continue on for the rest of the day. Uh, and by the time the evening falls, you have made it to the base of uh, the Muldor mountain range here. So the following day, you can start trekking uh, in that direction out of sort of the the deep snow of these forests and plains and into the more rocky uh, snow-capped mountains. So I assume I am assuming that you're using Tiny Hut for rest every yes. night. Okay. Every night ritual casting. So unless something's happening to where we can't like cast it, like ritual cast it, then I'll be doing it every night. Yep. So you ritual cast here, um, find a, an, an area to where um, I guess really whatever you want. And you have your nice little uh, witchy looking shack on the outside. And for all the rest of you, it is comfortably um, where it's a comfortable temperature on the inside and you were dry and out of the elements, uh, subverting the environment around you. So uh, you all will get the benefit of a long rest for the evening. And then the following day, you can pick back up and continue towards the mountains. And that is where we will end our session this evening. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't yet, uh, please feel free to go check out our YouTube. Um, give us a, a, a sub and like if you don't mind, it would help us out. And then you can also check out our other links uh, as well from our website. Uh, but what we'll do first is I'll put a poll in the chat and let you all vote on Twitch to see who the MVP of the session was. Um, and I will still include uh, Valken because he was here for half the session, so he still counts in my heart. So whoever you vote for, whoever gains the most votes, will be getting an inspiration to be used uh, for their character. But we'll go ahead and let these wonderful creators talk about their own endeavors, and I will let Mac and Cheese please start. Ah, I'm Mac and Cheese, please. I make YouTube videos on YouTube about Minecraft. You can watch them. YouTube.com slash Mac and Cheese, please. I also stream on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm inconsistent with streaming lately, so. But I'm not inconsistent with YouTube. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Up next. We did it. <laughs> it was like Jagger from the GGN crew. Yo, yo, what's up? Moops here from the GGN crew. Uh, you could find me over on the links on one of these sites. I'm going to put both hands, so I'm one. I'm half <laughs> correct. Uh, I stream on Tuesdays. I'm currently going through Tactics Ogre Reborn. It's been an awesome time. Uh, loving it. And then after that, I'm probably going to pick up Midnight Suns because I love me some tactics and it's going to be it's going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah. I want to play that. It's going to be good. All right. Up next, Bonnie Dreadful. Hi. Um, Hello. Which side is it? That way. You're correct. That one? Uh, these are only sort of correct. That is how you can follow me and definitely make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. But I'm actually lately streaming on this channel. So if you followed, you're all set up because we're doing D&D &D art lately. So I'm going to be doing some D&D &D art on Tuesday. We're finishing up our Disney princesses as dark D&D &D characters series, I guess. Um, so yeah, if you like the art of this campaign, come hang out and watch me draw some more D&D &D content. Yeah. Oh no, we yeah. lost moves again. No. Uh, no. And thank you all so much for watching. We'll be back next week, I do believe. And uh, we'll be back for more of this adventure. And as they wander off into the uh, frozen unknown, uh, Bryn, gain inspiration. Boop, boop. Oh, it, I'll be gone next week, friends. Mac will not be here. She's mm -hmm. leaving us forever for a week. But then we'll come back. Forever for one week. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna not be here the episode where we all freeze to death somehow. Yeah. And it'll be Max Big Adventure. One person that can make fire <laughs> <laughs> isn't gonna be here. Oh, uh, but anyway, thanks so much everyone for uh for watching and hanging out with us. Um you're all amazing. Thank you for supporting us and through your subscriptions both on Twitch and on YouTube for your follows. Uh, and for listening to our podcast over uh, everywhere that podcasts are sold.
So thank you all very much. Um, we will see you next time. Wash your hands, get vaccinated, do donuts and not drugs. And see you next week. Bye, everybody. Bye.